Uh, what are your thoughts on the Antichrist and, and who it might be? Yeah, that's a simple one, really. Um, Christians are Antichrist. What now, do you okay, when you look at the word Christian, yep. if you break it down how it's spelled, you've got Christ and then you've got anti going backwards. Christianity or Christian, if you really look at it, it's Antichrist. Why do I say that? Not all Christians. There's different types of Christians, yeah? Now, most Christians today come from a person called Paul, yeah? His original name was Saul, S-A-U-L. He became Paul. And he went against Jesus Christ's teachings. That's where anti is, when you go against something. So they say they're following Christ, but the name Christ was made up yeah, in Antioch because he says... Um, we found a Messiah, but he's been interpreted as the Christ. So he didn't know these, these names like Jesus or Christ. So when you say in Antichrist, you're literally saying somebody that's going against Christ. And so everything that Jesus taught, like he said, don't teach the Gentiles. Paul said you can teach the Gentiles. He said, don't eat pork. Paul said you can eat pork. It's, there's many things that Jesus said you shouldn't do that people are doing today, but they're claiming to be following Christ. And there's, like with everything, there's Antichrist and there's the real Christ. And the word Christ comes from the word Christos, as I mentioned before, mm -hmm. which means anointed. Yeah. So it's not a special term for one person. It's like to, to have anointing and they used to anoint with the, the oil from the crocodile. Yeah, so this is what it is. So Antichrist is anyone who's going against the true teachings of Jesus in the, in the biblical sense. But that person that they're talking about actually comes from ancient Egypt, yeah, as Hara, or who they term Horus. And today it's like, it's also a consciousness, which people say a Christ consciousness because it's talking about the time we're in now, which is going from the Piscean era into what we call the Aquarius age. And the, um, the lion, or what people call the Sphinx in Egypt, was like the needle that watched as, as the um, constellations are revolving, it moves to where we are now, which is Leo, or like, you know, it's, it's referred to as Akir in, 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 in um, ancient language in terms of the lion. And that deals with, you have two sides. You have the lion, as in the lion of Judah. This is where the Rastafarians picked that up, yeah? And then you have the lamb, which is symbolic of someone who's meek and humble. So you've got the two sides, the lion and the lamb. And it ties into Dr. Malachi as the York, as his name is like when he was going teaching us through the schools of religion, um, Isa al Hadi al Mahdi. The Hadi means guide, and it ties into the Mahdi, and it ties into this new era that we're coming into, which is he was basically the guide to come to take us from the moon cycle into the sun cycle. And so um, to change that whole, like, all the lies to bring about truth, to give you the actual facts, to give you like the the, the doctrine for this next 24,000 year cycle. And that's where we started from in the year 2000. And that's where we're in now. So that, that change in consciousness, that rise in vibration, if you don't transform yourself into that Christ consciousness, then you're going to be left behind. And so, yeah, Antichrist is anyone or anything that is not resonating or changing their consciousness into this new what people term Christ consciousness. Yeah, so that's that's what that is. But yeah, to go against Christ is to be antichrist. So when you see people doing things like, as you say, they're intoxicated, they're smoking cigarettes, they're drinking, they they just basically loose and do anything. They don't they they don't keep the Sabbath, they don't fast, they don't meditate, they just go to church on Sunday and think that's it, that they're being saved. They're being saved, all right, but being saved for later as prey for food for these extraterrestrials that love to eat meat and this blood sacrificing and all this stuff we've spoken about before. That's what it's about. So, yeah, um, that's what I think about being Antichrist.
So you don't believe the, there'll be like one main antichrist that will... Well, there is, um, and we keep mentioning this, the person they're talking about is known as Nana, yeah? Right. And um, he's a person, um, he's the son of Enlil, from Enlil and Enki of the Anunnaki. So, um, yeah, he's the one that people call Antichrist, and he's the one that everyone's worshipping. We, we say things that people think might be out, you know what I mean, crazy, but... The Bible is a Bible of the Antichrist. Like, if you study what, like, everything that God is telling you to do, it's not making sense. Like, like I said, like, why would you want people to kill for you? Why would you want to do blood sacrifices? Why, if you read the whole of Leviticus, as I said before, there are many things that this God's Gods, because they're not one, because they call them Yahweh, Elohim, um, all kinds of names. But yeah, they're doing a lot of things that don't make sense. Um, but yeah, there is an Antichrist, which is no, he's Nana, basically, to give you the straight up answer. Yeah.